Welcome back to Night in the Woods. We've got another dream sequence. Whoa. Guess I'm not smashing anything this time. <laughs> oh, they're so creepy. Oh, I can probably get up here, huh? I'm gonna bounce these birds around. So are these the two yeah, these are the two constellations that we found. Oh, that's so cool, we're getting all the different tracks of a band going. Looks like we got three out of four. Also, that's really cool that they have a little thing in the background that shows you how many you got. There's a creepy shadow there. Morning. I'm working today. Angus is out of town and I'm lonely. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Gregory. Hey. I got sick from the mall food. It wasn't good mall food. I'm working today if you want to say hello. Yep, that's my life right there. Science beat. Jobs cannot be soul crushing because there is no proof that souls exist. True. I think I'm gonna practice some bass off camera. Oh, hold on. So we have the new song that we did at band practice, right? Weird Autumn, yes. It still gives me this option? Go get dead angel face? Can I play it now? No, I still can't. Okay. Okay, I practiced Space Dragon and Weird Autumn. I actually did pretty good at them. But I don't think I'll show them on camera unless I get them, like, Almost perfect or perfect. Um, oh, hey! 
I think the boxes should be moved now, right? Because last night I asked Dad to move them. What are you even thinking about in there? Oh. Guess they haven't done it yet. Thanks, Dad. Good morning. Did you feel it last night? What? There was a big sinkhole two streets over. Oh, are we still getting those? I don't think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth. And on a floodplain. Oh, weird. I don't want you over there nosing around it. I guarantee you I won't. I've seen sinkholes. No interest at all? Mom, they're just holes in the ground. But get back to me when one, like, swallows a house or something. We'll go see together if that happens. Deal. So what did you do last night? Went to the mall with B. Oh, Fort Lucen? Lucena? Yeah. Haven't been there in years. How is it? Kind of falling apart and empty. Yeah, I expect. Everyone just goes to the outlet stores up by the interstate now. For, you know, shoes and things. Well, stop by the church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. Mm-hmm. Bye, sweetie. Can I actually get to the sinkhole? Oh, whoa. The mood is so different. I mean, still definitely fall, but... Everything's all... depressing. Even the music's sad and depressing. May Borowski. Selmers. Now, we all know how important it is to look our best. What? Our appearance is the first and sometimes last impression we make. Selmers, did you join a cult? Lucky for you, I happen to be a licensed dealer. Oh, okay. Of the Sylvan family of products. Selmers, I don't have any money. Oh, okay. Have you sold anything yet? Sold some to my mom. And to Abby Krangler. Mrs. Krangler's daughter? Granddaughter. I run into her at the laundromat over by the school. One time Gray got locked inside one of the tumble dryers. <laughs> oh no. Did he die? <laughs> he wanted me to, to start it, but I chickened out. He definitely would have died. Tell him that. He's still mad. Want to hear a poem? Sure. Sometimes I think and start to sink. Oh no. There's more. Sorry. Then I remember it's October. October. I combine my two favorite months. Fall is really nice. It's the best. Days are gonna start getting shorter soon. It makes me sad. I like it. I love the fall, but hate the dark. I like it. You sure do. I seen a raccoon. Where? Up in Towny Center. Or Towny. Sentry? He's a biggin. Cool. I've seen him too. They are pretty damn big. Uh, right. It's just been a couple days that uh, that person should be on the roof and we could see more constellations. Not quite yet. My cat don't like folks on the porch.
Any new posters? Haven't looked at this in a little while. Hmm. Nope. Let's go see Mom at the church. Hey, Mom. Hey, sweetie. I completely forgot where the sanctuary is. Um, you passed the door on your way here. Oh, I thought those were locked. They're locked sometimes. All doors are locked sometimes. Not like... saloon doors. Cowboys just walking in and out. It's very rude. The Old West was a very rude time. <laughs> Howdy, partner! I say, I say, this is a powerful rude. This is powerful rude. That's like a southern gentleman. He's classing the place up. Tarnation. Okay, mom, no more cowboy dog for you. Dad, gummit. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. Love you. So wait, are the doors? Are there some unlocked doors here? Oh. Hey again. Hey. Your mom will be pretty happy you're here. Oh, don't I know it. You know the church goer? No. Big fan of sleeping in? I mean, aren't you? I can't remember the last time I slept in. Might have been last Saturday. That's not long ago. It's been a very long week. Same, honestly. When did you stop coming? When my mom stopped making me. <laughs> when I was like 15 or so. I just want to point out the reason I laughed when I said when my mom stopped making me is because when they said that, I pictured it not being that the mother was was forcing May to go to church, uh, like dragging them along, but rather I pictured it as the mom was pregnant with May. May was, you know, inside of them literally being made when my mom made me literally like the mom <laughs> making may and going to church and so may has to come along because you know they're still being made that's obviously not what it meant at all that was immediately obvious but just for a second just for a second i thought that i don't know all the sitting and standing sing this now feel this thing now well feelings are more suggested suggestions doesn't feel like it. Well, I hope you'll maybe come some Sunday. Yeah, I guess I haven't seen you preach. Oh well, preach. Kind of has a bad ring to it, huh? Talk? That works. Hey, how are things with the whole Bruce situation? Well, we're praying, and gears are turning. But they turn slow. But God can turn any gear they want. And I take comfort in that. Hope it turns out okay. Thank you, May. Hey, listen. You know, if you ever want to talk or have any questions... About, like, God? Sure. You can always talk to me. It's kind of in my job description. Okay. Let's see if we can go talk to Bruce. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Oh, okay. So you're more of a drifter? Yeah, but it's temporary. Of course. Well, we just wanted to see if you're okay up here. Yeah, Pastor Kate has been very kind. What if we see your setup here? What do you think, Molly? Uh, uh, it's fine. <laughs> All right, Bruce. Yeah. How are you finding Possum Springs? Nice place, nice people. How long you been in town, Bruce? Well, I've been here for a while now. And I was here before, back in the 70s. They were looking for miners, at least for a while. 
Got a whole thing going here, Bruce. Yep. Pretty impressive. Uh, thanks. Well, we sure appreciate you talking to us, Bruce. It was really great to meet you. Yep, likewise. Alright, troops, let's move out. Thanks again, Bruce. Thanks, Bruce. No trouble. What was that? That was... surreal. My first thought, you know, especially seeing uh, police next to a homeless person is, oh, the homeless person's considered unsightly, people are trying to push him out. I don't know if that's what that was, though? I... Huh. So what's your story? Uh, got no story. Like, where are you from? North of here. Northeast. Worked on the railroads. Worked some mines. Worked some construction. How'd you end up here? Spring. Spring of bad luck. Don't have to talk about it. I never turned down that offer. Oh, there's the fat raccoon I just saw go behind the building. Let's go see B. Hey, BB. Hey, May. How's it going? Got a load of rock salt to move. Came in early this year. And like a crap load of snow shovels. Usually the distro place doesn't goof up like this. Maybe it's run by weather wizards? Yeah, that's not a bad theory. So what's up? Wanna hang out today? Uh, I'm working. If you wanna like, come along. Oh, I was thinking we'd go play putt-putt uh, out in Hunwick. May, that's actually not a bad idea. Ah, but sorry, I got work. Ah, oh, jeez. What's even the point? Paychecks, rent, food, medicine, that kind of thing? So, do you want to come along or not? Uh, is this gonna like, end the day or something? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Let's hang out. House call. Uh oh. Maybe it is gonna end that whole thing. Hope I didn't miss too much. Couldn't you just, like, refuse to do house calls? Nope. Why? It's called a job. People pay you to do it. Ideally, at least. You coming? There's a thing back here by the driveway. Yeah, she's an old lady. She's got weird shit in her yard. It's like a windmill. Yep. I've never been back up here before. May Borowski... You have now been here. It's nice. Yeah, just a bunch of old cabins people turned into houses. Some hunting camps. So don't like get shot or anything. Buck season isn't for a few days, right? Well, folks get impatient. For murder. It ain't murder if it's animals. That's dark. Hold that thought. You gonna knock? Thank you for coming on such short notice. No problem. I can sleep through a four, four alarm fire, but that furnace. We'll take a look at it. Ever since Gene passed, I just can't abide that thumping. Understandable. Gene was such a darling man. Hey, what did you mean by hold that thought? Oh, wait for it. I'll never forgive them for taking him away. <laughs> Is that how Gene died? Uh-huh. Ain't like I didn't treat him right. I looked it up on the internet. He didn't smell or nothing. Wait for it. 
You can't take a woman's husband just because he's dead. There it is. Holy God. Took him right off that couch. It's a crime. Yeah, a crime was definitely committed all right. They just couldn't abide not being able to tax him anymore. That's what it was. Well, I won't talk your ears off about it. Take a look at my fridge while you're here. We build by the half hour. Good job? Yeah, it's a nice fridge. What's the problem? Oh, there's no problem. It's just a classic. An original Luna Freeze. Wow. They were all the rage when I was your age. They last forever. They make me feel so young. I saw one of these the other night when I got back into town. No, oh, really? Where? Upside down under some logs in a creek in a ravine. <laughs> so, furnace. Ah, uh, yes. Right through here to the basement. Sounds good. Come on, May. Alright. We'll be down there for a bit. Please remember not to lock us in. Oh. This is the person that locks people in... What? Last time we sent someone, he got locked in the basement. I assure you that did not happen. Um, he called me from your basement. Your man did smell a bit of booze when he came by. Oh, okay. Busted. Or something. Okay, on we go. It was nice meeting you. I don't really know who you are, little person. <laughs> Oh man, I love creepy basements. And why wouldn't you? Look at all this splendor. Jeez, she's got a lot of junk. Maybe she's got a few more husbands stacked in the corner. <laughs> Alright, let's get this done so we can go home. Baseball bat. Just makes me think of the dream, the first one. Isn't it illegal to smoke indoors? It is. Well, 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 be the criminal. It's a dummy. I'm trying to quit. So I chew on this thing. What? Notice no smoke coming out? No smoke at all? But, like, I've seen you smoke. Uh, yeah, not indoors. I totally thought it was real. Where did you think the smoke was going? I thought you were... swallowing it? May, do you know how smoking works? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not a smoking scientist, Beatrice. Good lord, what else don't you know? Sorry, I didn't get a degree in cigarettology. What even was your major in college? Kicking ass and getting rad. So that's the furnace? Yes, that's the furnace. I've decided his name is Clanky. Okay. You just hang out. I'm gonna go fix this right quick. Don't, like, break anything. What am I gonna break? This is a basement full of crap. Oh, jeez, okay. Shouldn't be long. Can I help? Nope. Why am I here, then? Because you wanted to come along. Just chill. Jeez, this is one old-ass fan. It's made of metal and you could chop your finger off. Fish, fish, fish. Ah, uh, my old nemesis. Professor Lucius von Nomi Nomio. I bet I can make something out of all this junk. Jeez, who even would have this much junk? Yeah, okay, I could see this being useful. Am I just gonna grab everything?
but not the baseball bat. Alright, so I can't carry anything else, so I'm gonna say this is enough stuff. What are we gonna do with all of it? So, got a gnome, a fishing pole, a badminton racket, and a fan. Got two wheels and a turny thing with no wheel. Probably just need to turn the turny thing. To, uh, to uh, open up the heat pipes. <clears throat> Clank has probably got loads of heat, but it can't get out. Get Clanky all hot and bothered. We'll teach Clanky to love. I bet I could. Hmm. I could use racket as a handle. Yeah, that would work. Hmm. One good hard pole should do it. Okay, focus. Work this out, Mayborowski. I wonder what it's like to get stuck in a cave. I saw this thing on TV about people that scuba dive in caves, which for my money is really stupid. Like, in normal swimming, you can drown, but you're not in a cave with horses and stuff. Horses? I meant hoses. Why am I thinking of horses? Oh my god. Cave horses. What if you were trapped by a cave horse? I wonder how they pull you out. Probably just have to wing it, make some big complicated thing. I can't imagine there's a machine made just for pulling scuba divers away from cave horses. Although who knows what happens down there. Ah, focus me! Maybe I should just wing this too? Just do it fast so I don't overthink it? Okay, let's do it. Okay, tie the racket to the turny thing and then tie that to the fan, but wait. How am I going to keep the fan from rolling up like a big fan fish? Okay, sorry, Nomi. I have to put you upside down like a vampire. I think they used to bury vampires upside down, so when they try to dig out of their coffins, they just dig down because... Haha, <laughs> stupid vampire. Now you're in the center of the earth and you died. Again. Hey, this looks great. I'm like an engineer. Or whoever makes machines. A machine engineer. Alright, let's give this baby a go. Okay, done. What? I think I fixed it. Now let's see what we've got here. Yeah, we did. We? What did you do? I engineered an elegant long-term solution. <laughs> God damn it. Way to go, May. Please don't fix anything ever again. Like, don't even have a pet. Anything you have to maintain. Ah, friggin' crap. It was totally gonna work. This is so typical. I'm going to check the exit. Are we locked in here? Wait here. It's gonna close, isn't it? Damn it. Oh, I thought the light would, like, shut off as they were walking up. Well, we're locked in. Ah, I knew this was gonna happen. Stupid, stupid bee. We can cut a hole in the floor. With what? Maybe she has an old saw down here. And we're gonna, what, build a heap of garbage to stand on and saw a circle in the floor like a cartoon? Well, not with that attitude. Well, this knob is really old and loose. Maybe I can, like, figure this out. I'll look around, too. Yeah, you can look around a whole bunch. keep thinking it's going to be the bat, but apparently it's not the bat. Hmm. The one thing she could hear is this furnace. When it was broken... Broken things need to be broken. Is it bat time? Do I need to break it? Now it's bat time. Hmm. Well, it's the one tool I do know how to use. A tool for beating ass. Clanky. I'm sorry I have to do this, Clanky. C. 
suck at you piece of crap furnace. Wow, that is pretty loud. Yeah, jeez. Surprised I can't hear that back in town. Okay, cool, she's coming, thank god. Uh, thank me, more like? Hey, Mrs. Miranda, you locked us in. Well, that was fun. Uh-huh. You alright? She gave us lemonade. Yeah. Such a nice night out. Lovely. Then what's up? Nothing, just... tired. Worked all day. I'm all hyper. Good for you. You are zero fun. Yep. You need, like, some magical shit to, like, give you a new perspective. Let me know when that happens. Wouldn't want to miss it. I'm going to collect a bunch of fireflies and bring them to be... That should do it, right? I feel like I can move this windmill somehow, but I'm just not sure how. Oh! Oh, I can step on these! That should do it. Uh, there's a couple more up there. Oh, crap. I wanted to get a running jump just to make sure I can get him, but I should be fine with just a single jump. Oh, those aren't even the kind that can follow you. Oh well. <laughs> it's only the ones that move, not just the ones that blink. Wow. <laughs> Are you like a firefly whisperer or something? They just like me, I guess. That's... You're an interesting person, May Borowski. Granddad said being interesting is all he can hope to be. Well, mission accomplished. Woohoo! You know, I have to say, this would have been a much less exciting evening if you weren't along for the ride. See? I'm good to have around. I mean, you can certainly beat the shit out of a furnace. I can beat the shit out of anything. You should, like, channel that aggression you always have into something useful. Uh, Dr. Hank said way back I needed to repress it. Repress? Not like, learn to deal with it? He specifically said repress. Uh, okay. Hmm. So do you think Mr. Miranda, like, pulled her husband's guts out? Isn't that what you do for mummies? I don't know, May. Do you think you'd have the stomach for it? Nope. Probably took a lot of heart. Yep. I wish she would explain it to us. <laughs> I get it, May. She really wrecked him. Okay, that probably stayed in place. Yeah, that should stay where it belongs. I'm leaving. Hey, you gotta live your life. Bye, this is me gone. Hey, wait up. You're walking back to town. You've had a lot of gall to say that. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> that was nice. There's Clanky. Grr, angry furnace. Who makes a mummy? How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined, I've ran machines, but now I get to slice steaks. And hawk salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But, like, do you like it? 
I like having a paycheck. Fair. Paychecks. The sweetest meats of all. What'd you do tonight? Oh, you know, stuff. Tired. Feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places you can get paid for work these days. Oh, really? Yeah. They call it working. Huh. You kids with your slang. Slang you could pick up at work. Okay, yes, point made. Um... What about those boxes I asked about in the crawl space? Hmm. I'm thinking about it. Watch some TV with me? Yeah, for a little bit. Perfect timing. Garbo and Malloy is starting. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. You know we like to get political here. Gotta do it. Gotta. You hear about this new law in the books? Pirating a movie online, you know about that? I do. Punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Wow, and here I've been trying to get in the hard way. He has, folks. Wonder if pirating a movie about first degree murder earns you more prison respect than one about grand larceny. Hey, Malloy, you know what I think about the law? About that law, rather. What, Garbo? That's a whopper. Catchphrases. Ugh. Coming up next, stupid sandwiches. I feel like I'm going to get to the end of the game and, like, on the very last day, that's when the boxes are going to be moved or something. Someday. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.